Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey lovelies, how are you today? It is uh, one day in the week. When you're going to see this is whenever you're going to see it, but it's one day in the week. So I got a little haul. I'm going to show you what I got in the little Timo bag, little Timo bag, tiny little bag. And I have a little bag from Amazon. So I'm just going to open up the Amazon bag first. How you doing today? Thank you for my new subscribers. Thank you for the people coming down, making comments. We're going to dive right into this. We're going to talk a little bit. I'm not going to hold up your time. Because we, what we're not going to do, we're not going to dilly. And we're not going to dally. Okay, so I opened up the Amazon bag. It's actually a book. And the book is by Teresa Caputo. And it's called Good Grief. And it says, heal your soul, honor your loved ones, and learn to live again. This is actually a gift I'm giving to someone. Because I feel like I read this book and I felt that this book was very, very influential in helping me through my grief. And when I give this to the person, I'm going to give them a highlighter pen because this book is a book you need to take your time and read it. You could read this book in two weeks, but that's not the way you should read this book. You should take your time and just read maybe 15 minutes a day, read a page or two so you can absorb the message that she's trying to give you so you can help with your healing. So this person, I feel they need some healing. And I feel that this was an excellent book. So I'm going to show you the book. If you have any kind of grief that you might be going through, anxiety, depression, because of the loss of a loved one, I recommend this book because it's very well written by Teresa. And it just gives you, it makes you stop wondering about what you could have, should have did. It lets you know that everybody has their own journey to go on. And even though your loved ones have moved on and they're not with you, they still are around you and they still can hear you. So talk to them. Want to scream at them? Want to laugh with them? Want to tell them a joke? Go for it. They can hear you. They're not with you 24-7, but they can feel your presence. So this book right here, I got off of Amazon. It was, um, when I bought it, it was $20. When I bought hers, I'm not sure how much it was. I, don't, I think it was a little less than 20 But it is a hardcover book because I wanted to give her a book that would be, you know, she could use it. Because it does give you lessons and stuff to work with. And I feel like when you read this book, I don't want to give her my book because my book is my book. And in my book, I was highlighting things that stood out for me that I thought that's something for me to actually reflect on and think about to help me through my grief. So I said I'm going to give her her own book, brand new, and a nice yellow highlighter pen. And then she could go through it page by page at her own pace and highlight what's, you know, stepping out to her. So... If you're looking for a book because you have anxiety, depression over the loss of a loved one, I recommend this book. It's called Good Grief, and it really is an excellent book, okay? So, that's that. Now, we're going to the Timu bag, and we're going to see what we got up in the Timu bag. I know you're all tired of my Timu bags. Some of you say you love my Timu bags, but you might be tired of seeing me buy the same stuff in the Timu bag. But I buy the stuff that I like. I don't buy what I think... Everybody else is buying because they feel like that's, ooh, let me buy that. No, buy what you like. Buy what you're going to use. So I got some more of these, which you know that these are the compressed towels. You know I love the cotton ones to wash my face with, but I like having these in my car. I find them to be very good. And I actually wash my face with one of these. It's not as thick as the other ones, but it still did the job. I gave one out to some other people. I wanted them to try it out. So even though I had put and hauled these previously i handed some out to like my mother my mother-in-law my sister my son a few of my friends because i wanted them to experience this because i think this is a good product to just have in your car having your pocketbook and if you need a towel here you go just put, add a little water and instantly you got a towel so these were 78 cents it's 20 in a pack so i said let me just get some I'm not sure how many I brought because I don't remember. So I'm going to count them out with you right now. But this is the package. You know, they make them all different types of package. And when you go on the site, just look for compressed towels. This one is by Lucky Pirate. But you could just get it. And it says, this one actually tells you that it's 20 in the pack. It was 78 cents. And whenever I go on the site, if I see them and they mark down under a dollar, I say, you know what? I'm just going to get them because you know their prices fluctuate. They go up and down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. I bought ten. So I bought ten of those. Okay, the next item coming out the bag. I don't have, this is this is a very small haul. Very small haul. But I'm still gonna show you what I bought. Then I bought these containers and they are in the shape of a heart. And this is basically um, something I could take for, you could use it to put your jewelry into if you wanted to put your jewelry away in it. But I'm going to use it for condiments because sometimes when I'm going to work and I'm having like a salad or something, this would be good just to put, look, snap it down. You could put your condiment in it. You could just put enough salad dressing in there to take with you. If you're a craft person, you could use this to put your crafts in. Use it for whatever you want to use it for yourself. But I got it for me because sometimes I buy like I'll I like leave for work and I'll be like I don't want to take that whole bottle of salad dressing. So then I have to stop at the Dollar Tree to try to get a salad dressing because I know I'm having a salad for lunch. And I said it would be convenient if I just had something I could just put the salad dressing in and just take it. So these was a dollar seventy nine and. I don't know how many comes in a pack, but it looks like a good amount comes in the pack. Look at them. So these could be either disposable. You could throw them out if you want to, but you could actually rewash re this and reuse it. I would rewash it. I mean, no need to just throw it out. It's plastic. It can be washed. Okay, so that's that it over there got some confetti because um i like to put confetti when i go and put stuff down i like to throw confetti over the grave so i saw these little these um this was um a dollar 28 so i wouldn't buy this again because this is all you're getting and i can go to the dollar tree and spend a dollar twenty five and get a pretty decent sized bag of confetti, but they don't have too many different colors. And when I saw it was gonna be rose gold, I said, Let me just buy a pack, see how much comes in it, see what it looks like. This is rose gold's confetti. It was only you know, only getting this much confetti, so that's not enough. So I wouldn't buy this again. So that's a no Timu. Your confetti for me is a is a no. Cause you're not giving us enough confetti to do nothing with. What are we gonna do with this? I mean, yeah, I'm gonna sprinkle it on the grave because I brought it, but come on. I'm used to having a big old Ziploc bag of confetti like this from the Dollar Tree. And I just like to just, you know, let it just go, make a little video, sing a little song, throw it up in the air, and just makes the grave look pretty. Okay, these earrings right here were $1.68. This is when I'm not paying attention. I only wanted one pair of these earrings. But when I saw the order and I looked back on the order, I said, oh, you hit that button twice. So you saw so board too. So I got a backup here. And I was saying to myself, do I want to give one to my niece or do I just want to keep them? So these are the earrings, crosses. And I've been getting a lot of compliments on these cross earrings. So I keep wearing them because... Every time I seem to wear them, somebody points them out and say, oh, I love your earrings. I love your earrings. See? Cute. So I brought another pair of cross earrings. And this one is got a marble effect. I'm going to take it out the pack. Let you see it. I'm not trying on any earrings today because I don't feel like it's made out of metal. And, you know, there you go. It's a nice size. It's pretty. Wear it with something green. Okay, put that over there. And I told you that's when I'm not paying attention. Because I wasn't planning on buying two. I was just planning on buying one. These were $1.88. And they're tassel earrings. And they came in black, gray, and white. And those slips that I brought, I realized the other night when I went upstairs in them, those are not regular slips. Those are actually dresses. Once again, I wasn't paying attention. I saw a slip, I brought it, and it's actually slip dresses. So, I mean, I could wear them, but I was really looking for a slip to go under the dress. So it's these little tassel earrings. So they look like tassels. So 
me just take one out so you could just see what it looked like. See the little tassel earrings? And it came in um $1.88. You get three pairs, so you get it in white, black, and gray. I actually used to have these little tassels on my um shirts, but whenever I have these on my shirt and it'd be like made like tassels hanging this way, my seatbelt always winds up ripping off the tassel, and then it's just like I got a string just hanging there. So these are some cute little earrings. Let me see what else is in this bag. I think this bag is basically empty because there's not a lot of stuff in this bag. Is that it? Yeah, one less, one item left. Is that one item left? Yeah, this is a light, a very light T-Mobile swig. This wig was $12.14. It's a bob cut wig. I can't try it on for you. Let me show you how it looks. Ooh. This is very Oh, they gave you they gave you a net. A hair net. They gave you a hair net. A weave cap. A weaving cap. They gave you a weaving cap. I don't even wear weaves, but they gave you a weaving cap as a free gift with this wig. So this is a bob cut wig. Look at it. It's blue at the end. It's got a center part. And it's a bob cut wig. It looks kind of small. Okay, you got a little stretch too, but it looks kind of small. And I'm a girl with a big face and a big head. I don't know if this is going to fit me. I might have to give this to my niece and let her play in it. That's how the wig looks. When I don't have um, braids in my hair, and I can show you the wig. I took the netting off so I can show it to you. Shake it out a little bit. I surely can't try it on. I just want to see one thing. I'm not. I'm not really putting it on. Oh lordy. See, that's the only bad thing about having this bun up in my head. I can't try on the wigs for you. Let me see. Push it back. So. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, ain't that pretty? <laughs> Ooh, Lordy. That's the thing about having your hair up. You can't really try on the wigs. Not until your hair is down. So I don't know if this wig is a okay or if this wig is a oh no. But it's short. Short and bobsy. Okay. So guys, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. And I will catch you. On the next video, what you want to call this wig? What would you call this wig? Oh, this wig. I thought it was going to be a little longer than this. This is kind of short. I want to try it on, but I really can't because I got braids in my hair. I usually don't have no wig short like this. But we'll see. We'll see what we do with this wig. All right, guys. Catch you in the next video.